Hello everyone, welcome back to Kalal English Sports, where we make sports your English classroom. Today we're going to learn English through a very exciting event, Binyam Girmoy's second victory in the Tour de France. Not, not his first, his second victory in the Tour de France. Therefore, Binyam made his stress, the first black of weekend to win a stage in the Tour de France, and then he did it again a few days later. We'll be using reactions from Eurosport cycling journalists to guide our lesson. I'll start from one of the first comments made by the journalists. One week ago, Eritrea has never celebrated a Tour de France stage win. Today, they celebrate a second post thanks to Binia Germay. Let's start from the word Eritrea. Eritrea refers to a country in East Africa. Therefore, Eritrea is one of the countries we have in East Africa. Celebrated, it means showed happiness or showed pride in an event. Stage win. Stage win refers to winning a section of a multi-part race. I think Binyam Girmay won his first victory was uh, in the third stage, if I'm not mistaken, and then he won his eighth stage, or he won the eighth stage of the Tour de France. Moving on to the phrase, thanks to. Thanks to means because of someone's actions. Therefore, this statement tells us, or it highlights that before Binyam Gramai's first win, which happened last week on Monday, just exactly one week from today, Eritrea had never celebrated a Tour de France stage victory. But now, within a week, they are celebrating a second victory by the same athlete. So who is that athlete? It is Binyam Germay. That is why uh, the journalist said both thanks to Binyam Germay. So this emphasizes Binyam Germay's significant contribution to Eritrea's or to his country's cycling history. Next, we will take a look at the team's strategy. So I think when they were talking, I think this is his team because there is Binyam Germay and the journalists say the following. The Intermarché team held themselves back from being on the front, but they just got so organized, all stuck together, and they were really disciplined in how long they waited because it's really tempting to go early when you get space therefore we'll start from the phrase maybe let me use my eraser yeah good okay so let's start from the phrase held themselves back it means his team or his teammates they controlled their actions disciplined it means they followed a strict plan or strategy if we if we are referring to something as tempting that means it is hard to resist therefore this entire statement tells us that this shows that the team's strategic planning and discipline therefore the intermarché team employed a strategy where they refrained or where they held themselves back from taking the lead they did not do that Therefore, they refrained from taking the lead too early in the race. Therefore, instead of doing that, they stayed organized and they waited for the right time to make their move. This required, as explained by the journalist, this requires discipline as it is often what as it is often tempting to break away early, especially when there is an opportunity. They had the opportunity, but they were like, no, we are going to stick to the plan. And at the end, that is one of the reasons why Binyam Germay became victorious. Now that we know that Binyam Germay is the one who won stage eight, uh, you may wonder, so was he expected to win the race? I don't think so, because here one of the journalists said, Arnold Dele, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, he was the favorite to win the stage, but he just kept getting riders come around him and he had to weave his way out. So there he is, Ar Arnold Dele. Arnold Dele is here, here is Binyam Garmai, and I'm guessing this is Philipson. We will come to Philipson or we will talk about Philipson because they talked about Philipson. So over here, let's start from understanding the word favorite. It means the one expected to win. Therefore, in this case, the athlete that or not the athlete, do we call them? Okay, so the rider expected to win was Arnold Dele. He was the favorite. He was the one expected to win. Weave his way out. It means move through obstacles. So from this statement, we can understand that Arnold Dele 
he faced unexpected challenges from other riders because here it says he just kept getting riders come around him so we can understand that he was surrounded by other riders therefore uh again i will see from this statement we or this statement tells us that our our no delhi he was expected to win the stage because here the the journalist said he was the favorite but he faced challenges because he kept getting writers as other writers continuously overtook him and he had to navigate through these obstacles which impacted his performance so Biniam's victory was a surprise as it was not expected I was convinced that Jasper Philipson has the win there he's going to be gutted about this isn't he convinced it means sure about something so if you say i'm convinced that means uh, you're telling us that you're sure about that thing gutted it means extremely disappointed therefore uh, the surprise outcome left philipson there he is it left philipson very disappointed and this comment not commentator this journalist believed that she believed that jasper philipson was going to win the stage but Philipson did not win and that led to a feeling of extreme disappointment for him. Now we will move on to the technical insights that was made by the journalists. He just looks so overgeared compared to Biniam. Overgeared might mean, and this is us from my understanding because I'm new to this cycling world. So overgeared can mean using a gear too hard to pedal efficiently therefore in this case philipson he struggled with his gear with his gear choice compared to biniam germai so uh, philipson appeared to be using a gear that was too hard to pedal efficiently especially in comparison to biniam because here it says compared to biniam and well since biniam one first place we can say that Binyan managed his gear selection better than Philipson. So when was the critical moment? There he there it is. I was going to say there he is. So just before it kicked up with about 115 meters to go, Philipson took that speed, started the acceleration first but it's just at that point there 15 20 meters to go he just ran out of energy basically this is what was said by one of the journalists so let's start from the the phrasal verb kicked up it means the road incline increased again this is as per my understanding because like i said earlier i'm new to this cycling world acceleration it means increase in speed ran out of energy it means he basically became exhausted who phillips and phillips and he became exhausted so from this statement we can understand that phillips and he lost momentum in that final stretch because as you can see here is the finish line maybe it's time for me to use the eraser not yeah so here is the finish line here is Philipson. and they thought he won no he did not <laughs> instead Biniam Germain won so as the road incline increased about uh, 150 meters from the finish line Philipson accelerated however with only 15 20 meters remaining he became exhausted and Philipson was unable to maintain his speed the next comment we're going to take a look at is going to be about gear changing during sprints. So here it is. If you have chosen, if you have chosen a big gear, it's so hard to change to an easier gear in full sprints. Changing up, no problem, but changing down is so much more difficult and you are in great danger of just jumping your gears let's start from the phrase big gear it means harder to pedal and more force is needed when we take a look at easier gear it means less force is needed to pedal now full sprint can be described as maximum speed efforts now let's take a look at this phrase jumping your gears 
it means when uh, the chain slips between gears i hope i had a picture of a bicycle but imagine imagine a bike and its gears so when the chain slips between gears it's it's going to cause a loss of momentum and it's going to be very hard for the rider to lose control that i think that's what it means so now in a nutshell this statement is telling us that when a rider sprints or when sprinting changing to an easier gear it's difficult and risky so it's easier to shift to a harder gear it's, it's like uh instead of going up and instead of going down i hope that makes sense anyhow but uh doing the reverse it can cause mechanical issues and disrupt the rider's rhythm and according to their analysis that is what happened to philipson so this statement explains the technical challenges cyclists, especially in this case, Phillips and faced during high intensity moments. So now Binyam won his second victory. How significant is the win? For the whole of the continent, these wins matter. And this one arguably more so even than stage win number one because it's making it look like this is the new norm. By the way, this is one of my favorite phrases that was said by this journalist. So we will start from the word continent. It refers to our continent. Which continent? The continent of Africa. Arguably, if you say something is arguably this or arguably that, you're saying that it's possibly true, but still open to debate. So you can say Cristiano Ronaldo is arguably the greatest football player of all time, or you can say Lionel Messi is arguably the best football player of all time. That means it's possibly true, but it's still open to debate. Now, let's take a look at the phrase new norm now that means it's a regular occurrence so uh, binyam germais's win or not win binyam germais's wins because he won twice his wins are monumental for our continent for africa and he set new expectations therefore his victories are significant for all of africa and especially the second win may even be more impactful than the first because it is suggesting that such achievements can become regular occurrences for african cyclists why am i saying that because the commentators said it this is the new norm now we we, we are used to it let's say you are a black african cyclist and who is going to be your hero i'm guessing it is going to be this man he is going to be a hero isn't he and that's role model for those youngsters to look up to hero it's refers to someone admired for their achievements therefore right now i'm sure binyam gurma is admired by many people millions and millions of people for his achievements role model refers to a person others look up to and try to emulate youngsters youngsters this word means young people so binyam gurma is becoming he is becoming a role model for african youth so he is on his way to becoming a hero and a role model inspiring whom inspiring young people to look up to him and inspire them to achieve similar success they will look up to him and they will say he's my hero i want to be like him i think this is a great reality for africa now we will try to take a look at some of the challenges that binyam Gurmai faced through the years overcoming challenges we allude to it multiple times as if okay so this is not about overcoming challenge i'm actually talking about different things right now okay so right now i'm talking about not me but the journalists were talking about power of representation so here they said one of them said we allude to it multiple times as to if you can't see it then you can't believe it and now they can so let's start from the word allude it refers to indirectly or it means to refer to indirectly suggesting or hinting at someone without stating it explicitly when we come to the word belief it means to accept something as true 
often requiring evidence or proof. So this entire statement tells us that seeing Biniam Germay's success helps others to believe that they can achieve similar fits, if I may say, or similar successes similar success. So this statement emphasizes the importance of representation and visible broad motives because here she said if you can't see it, if you don't see it, then you can't believe it. You'll be like, okay, where is, where is it? Show me. Now you can show your black African children, your black African youngsters. Well, there he is. There is your hero and they would believe it. Now let's talk about his challenge. So over here, it's been remarkable to see who, no, it's, it's been remarkable to see two stage wins from him. So over here, let, we will just take a look at the word remarkable. It means worthy of attention, extraordinary or unusual. So you can say that Biniam Germay's two stage wins are extraordinary achievements and this highlights the rarity and significance of his success. He deserves all the attention he's getting from international media. So now Biniam Germay is going to be a trailblazer. He's just going to be the trail <laughs> he's just going to be the trailblazer. Okay, so this is one of the English words that I don't like to pronounce, but I'm going to do it because of Biniam Germay. Now a trailblazer is a pioneer or an innovator who leads the way for others. In this case, Biniam Germay is leading the way for other black Africans to follow in his footsteps. So this emphasizes his role in paving the paths or paving the way for future cyclists from Africa. Now we will talk about his challenge. Here the commentator said, remember the Giro he crashed. By the way, um, I wish I didn't have to show this picture, but this was Biniam on the ground because he crashed. So he crashed, got back on his bike, crashed again, and that was when he got off the disappointment. Then that was his big target of the year. Back to this phrase. So let's start from, oh, not the Giro. Now I know how they pronounce this word, by the way, Giro. They pronounce it. They pronounce it as Giro. So Giro d'Italia is another major, major cycling race, just like Tour de France. Crashed means he crashed, he got back, and then he crashed again. So crashed means he fell off the bike and uh, riders fell off the bike often due to losing control or due to an accident. Disappointment, it means feeling of sadness or frustration due to unmet expectations. So over here, we can understand that Biniam Germay faced setbacks at the Giro d'Italia, but he has overcome them. This shows his resilience and ability to recover from failure. Okay, so this was one of the last comments by made by the, the commentators. He's just had a very, very low point and how he's come back from it is phenomenal. Two stage wins within four days. Now let's start from the phrase low point. It means a time of difficulty or unhappiness. Phenomenal. It means extraordinary, very remarkable. So this statement tells us that in this case, Biniam Germay bounced back. Let me go back. He bounced back from a low point to win two stages in four days. So this emphasizes his remarkable comeback and perseverance. Here it says two stage wins within five stages at within I think it's it was supposed to say within five days and the green jersey. These are all momentous achievements. The word momentous means very important. So here the statement tells us that winning two stages in five days and earning the green jersey are significant accomplishments. So right now we, we see Biniam wearing green jersey. Like I said, I am new to this world, but the fact that he's wearing this color, it means something. It means it's better, better than the other jerseys he was wearing, the different colors of jerseys he was wearing. That means now he's advanced. That is my understanding from this statement. Now, if someone asks you to choose between these two victories, which one would you choose? 
This is what one of the journalists said. Both state wins have been brilliant in their own right, but I'll go as far as, as, far as to say that this one for me is even more impressive than the first one. Brilliant, it means exceptionally clever or talented in their own right. It means valued independently or having their own importance. So according to this journalist, each of Biniam Gurmai's stage wins is outstanding individually, but this journalist believes that the second win is even more remarkable than the first. This shows the growing recognition of Biniam's talent and achievements. I'm not sure how many of you remember the statement made by uh, different media outlets such as BBC Sports. They were saying, oh, Biniam Germay won because Cavendish and the other favorites, they crashed. And they were saying that was the, that was the reason, that was the main reason he emerged victorious. But this is my favorite. This is my number one favorite comment or statement made by this journalist. And I will, and I will read it. It was a real head to head with Jasper Philipson and Beanie came out on top. So the phrase head to head means a direct competition between two people or teams. Therefore, it was a direct competition between Beanie and Philipson at the end. Beanie came out on top. So the phrase came out on top means emerged as the winner. So they were competing directly. Neither Philipson nor the other favorites crashed, as far as I know. So Philipson was competing with Biniam Germay until the finish line, but then Biniam won. Now I want them to <laughs> reflect on their comments made last week. This means Biniam faced direct competition from Jasper Philipson in this stage and he emerged victorious. So this statement highlights the competitive nature of the race and Biniam's ability to prevail under pressure. He was under pressure at the end. He is the one who won. <laughs> These statements from Eurosport cycling journalists reflect the admiration and respect Biniam Germay has earned through his performance in the Tour de France. His achievements are not only personal milestones, but also significant for his country and the continent of Africa. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keep watching Gala Language Sports for more exciting lessons and insights from the world of sports. See you next time.